Assalamu alaikum guys uh, I hope you are doing very well I hope you began your day very well and I hope you follow your aims or your targets uh, about a specific opportunity you may have it to follow it thank you so much guys guys in my previous video I have explained about the specific or the details of simple present tense de definitions so in that course, I have explained that a simple present tense speaks about two important issues. One of them is action, and the second is uh, about the state. In this part, I'm going to explain about the usage of simple present tense. By the usage of simple present tense, we are going to explain where we can use simple present tense very well. In this part, we are going to find out the advantage of using simple present tense in English practical usage. In this part, we discover why simple present tense is really important in English by now. The first option that we face at uh, the usage of simple present tense is habit. Habit, it means private manner of someone. Private manners of someone's habit of repeated actions or both of them are similar. It is relevant, it is related only about a person. It is not for the general people because everyone has different habit in different time. For example, I brush my teeth in the morning. This is my habit that I do it. But, but the other person, he doesn't uh, brush his teeth in the morning. Maybe he brush his teeth in the evening after the dinners. He wakes up early in the morning. This is Ahmad's, this is him habit. But for me, it's not my habit. I woke up lately in the morning, not early in the morning. That is called, you know, I said, you know, habit, it means private manners of someone else. Yes. Thank you so much. Second, simple present tense always speak about the fact. Why we speak about the fact? In fact, we have two types of them. One of them is general fact. The second we have universal fact. What is difference between general fact and what is difference between universal fact? General fact, which can be changeable, how much the time is passing so it has direct effect on the mental body of someone or on the physical body of someone for example he is a strong man it means right now he is strong but in the future he is not going to be strong okay second he is a boy yes right now he is a kid he is a boy but how time the time is passing, he is going to become young man. Then he is going to become old man. So that is why how much the time is passing, his physical condition or his mental condition is going to be changed. Second, we have universal fact. Universal fact means which cannot be changeable. It means how long the time is passing, it doesn't have direct or direct effect on it. Suppose milk is white. How long the time is passing? Milk is always white. Or I am a man. How long the time is passed? I cannot become a woman. I cannot become a girl. This is my gender that I am a man and this is a fact. Thank you so much guys. Now in the second part we speak about the direction. Uh, you suppose uh, when we are at school, at the university, at the office, at home, in the society, some people guide us, some people instruct us. In this part, it means we use simple present tense. For example, I make an example on the whiteboard. Close the door when you come. Switch off the light when you leave the class. Come to the house uh, before you say them hello. Thank you so much. This is called about the directions. 
After that, sometimes we make some decisions, we schedule something to do something in the future. To do something in the future. So in this part, our structure is going to be used in the simple present tense, but it, it refers about the future times. Look at this, guys. He comes to Pakistan tomorrow. The structure is what? In the present time. But it refers to what? The future times. Because we speak about the future times. Ahmad has teaching class tomorrow at this time. This is his schedule to have this activity about tomorrow. It is already planned. Uh, so number five, we talk about the timetable. Timetable, it means it includes about the whole activity since the morning till the evening. This is called what timetable? For example, I woke up early in the morning. I brush my teeth. I change my clothes. Then I go to for jogging. After jogging, I come back to my house. I change my clothes, I have a breakfast, then I go to my job. This is called what? Timetable. I hope, guys, you understand about the usage of simple present tense. And another part uh, that I have missed uh, and the definition of simple present tense about the structures of simple present tense. Simple present tense structure is really easy. First of all, we have subject. Second, we have verb or I, E, S, E, S or S. It is used only for the third person, he, she, and. Then we have object. After that, we have full stop. Look at this, guys. He watches TV. He is what? The subject. Watch is what? The verb. And E, S is what? The E, S. TV is what? The object. Number two, guys, you know, subject plus do or does plus not or plus verb plus object. He, she is subject. Does is does. N not is what? Not. Uh, right is what? Verb. Letter is what? Object. And then together, so do or does plus subject plus verb plus object or plus full stop. Do is what? This one. You is what? Subject. Go is what? Word. Uh, school is what? Object. This is called the structures of simple present tense. One many uh, description is remained uh, that I'm going to explain it. Does is always used for he, she, and it. Do is always used for I, V, you, and they. Thank you so much guys, uh, uh, so this was our explanations about the usage of simple present tense. I hope it was interesting for you guys and I hope uh, everything would be easy to understand about it. So this was the whole discussions about the simple present tense. Thank you so much for your paying attention. If you like this uh, video, uh, so you like this video and you subscribe this channel. Thank you so much. Uh